science itself is sexed, gendered, dressed, colonial. And it's riddled with global capitalism in these days, with neoliberalism. Without addressing that, even though we have been raising important questions, I've been attending the presentations, all have raised important questions and the recommendations. I really would like to, uh, would like to acknowledge that. But those interventions would remain to be inadequate. Not only inadequate, but also concealed unless we raise fundamental issues. Uh, as we all know, despite all the progress that was made in Africa and elsewhere, over the last decades, women are still largely underrepresented when it comes to STEAM fields. That's uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and arts disciplines. But this is not only in those fields, but in all other fields for that matter. So this is a huge concern, and something has to be done about it. still need to talk a lot about what is going on, what are the disadvantaged part, or what are uh, some of the issues that needs to be taken into consideration. Because uh, when we talk about African women, it's not only about very few urban women, rather we need to focus about all uh, women and girls that are uh, living in uh, rural part of Africa who really lacks a uh, different kind of uh, uh, opportunities and advantages. The first statistic is uh, concerning researchers. Uh, the, the stat itself is fairly old, it's from the beginning of the century. Uh, but I think anyone who's done research can testify that it's pretty much present uh, in all countries and not just in Nigeria uh, to this date. Uh, so, uh, for example, 17% science researchers were female in Nigeria, and that includes 23% of students in technology only, uh, and 26% of students in science courses were uh, female at that time. Um, then, as per the recent uh, UNESCO report uh, called Cracking the Code, um, less than a quarter of STEM degree uh, course students uh, are also female and the number of, of women obtaining bachelor degrees is some, in some subfields like uh, physics and engineering is actually declining over the past few years. kind of conversation I want us to engage with by going back to the 1958-67 because it's not new that organizations come to promote education or girl education or other types of um, interventions both collectively and individual subjecthood and it has been there in the past and it will it is there today and it will continue and some of its relationship can be very much hegemonic, meaning that they kind of frame the nature of like intervention to be made, or at least it appears to be so, right, for some of us. <laughs> 